how neurofeedback therapy can help kids learn at home during virtual learning school year. I'm Dr. Trish Lee. Let me tell you what neurofeedback does. Okay, especially for children who struggle with ADHD or anxiety, what neurofeedback does is it will decrease the electrical energy, the brain speed that's being used in their brain that creates all that anxiety or creates distraction and lack of focus. So let me tell you what is happening in a child's brain if they have ADHD and anxiety and especially when they go to learn at home during this virtual learning year. Okay, so the baseline brain performance pattern that's optimal, I'm gonna give you a visual that it's down here. This is where the baseline pattern is for someone whose brain is running pretty well, like mine. We'll just use mine, or at least it was before virtual learning started. Just kidding, I'm doing fine, hanging in. But an optimal brain pattern is down here. That means that all the speeds are being used well, and especially the speed in the middle for calm focus is the one that is winning out and is happening predominantly. It, they're called alpha and low beta. Alpha is the speed for calmness, low beta is the speed for focus. So during the day when I'm helping my five little darlings learn at home and I'm regulating all of their emotions and self-regulation and helping them to get on their Zooms and get off and get their eighth grade math done and all of that jazz, I am in calm focus, which is why I'm able to handle it with ease. They're in calm focus, at least for now, which is why they're able to do it. But if a child has ADHD, now this baseline pattern is no longer here. What happens is the slow speeds, delta and theta, that are for sleep, they're up here. They're like this. So if your brain is using much too much theta, what that means is it's very difficult to focus, it's very difficult to attend, it's very difficult to sit in front of a Zoom for an hour because theta is cranking in sleep mode. It's making the brain feel like it's going to fall asleep. Okay, so that's ADHD up here. Now I'm gonna bring it back down. And if your child struggles with anxiety, it means high beta, extra fast speed is up here, cranking away in anxious mode. They're using tons of fast speed that makes them feel anxious, makes their brain run too fast, so it's not down in the speed for calm focus where things are happening smoothly and processing is happening well. Now their brain is going so fast that things are just bouncing off the walls and information can't even get in, it's going too fast. Now here's the kicker. ADHD and anxiety are comorbid. They exist together, unfortunately, for most people. So the reason that it happens is if a child's born with an ADHD brain, they have all this theta cranking and the brain will self-compensate and start making more and more and more high beta to offset the slowing. So the key to success is to bring these two down so calm focus in the middle can win out. That's exactly what neurofeedback does. And now we offer home neurofeedback with this snappy device that goes on the forehead and it has sensors in the middle and in by the ears in the temporal lobe and it has an external port that makes it so that I can take and read your brain map at home using an online portal with your help in 28 minutes. And then you have this headband with our specialized brain shift program. I'm able to program anything your brain needs and I'm able to see the data to make sure that I'm helping your child get their brain out of here into calm focus. That is how neurofeedback helps virtual learning because when your brain is using calm focus, now you can get to work on the work that you need to do. Executive function skills go up, planning and organization. Your kiddos better able to follow the schedule for the day, better able to follow the routine, better able to be able to complete multiple step directions, better able to have a positive mood and be motivated and engage in it and get the work done. And guess what? Your brain will benefit too because when brains are around each other, they attune. So what your child's brain is doing will literally come off his brain and affect your brain. So I'm sure as a parent of a child with ADHD and anxiety, 
you also struggle with anxiety and having difficulty focusing. It becomes pervasive in the home environment and especially during this virtual learning time, we need to bring that energy down and bring that calm focus up. Okay, I hope that helps you out and remember, control your brain or it will control you.